Yes, roomies, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So in today's video, we're going to be carrying on with the Paladarium build for the Fire Belly Toads. As well, I've got a few things to get done around some of the bioactive setups. So if you don't want to miss out, then make sure you stay tuned. And that's all coming up right after this. A lot of people ask me why sometimes these builds take so long. Now that's mainly because the videos take a long time themselves. So I'm just having a look at Castro in her new the planted tank. If you haven't seen that video yet, then go and check it out. But she's doing really well. For things like this, and if you've seen the last video, then these things I still need to stay on top of, and I still got animals to care for. So I have been adding bits of builds in separate videos and making them in series. But I would like to make them in full videos, but I still got animals to care for and as well as the time it takes to film a video, which filming and editing a Sunday video can take anywhere from 10 hours to maybe even 20 hours, depending on what I'm doing. So I'm going to take you along and show you some of the things that happen behind the scenes. We've got some things to do with the enclosures some things to do with the animals. And I'll generally show you sometimes the things I do that you don't get to see. So, not only do I have to do things that I film for you, but behind the scenes I get a lot done as well. So obviously I want to make sure all my animals are cared for and make sure I stay on top of the enclosures. So there's some things I've fallen behind on more recently just because I've been away. And birth tank's not looking great at the moment, partly because I added feeders into his enclosure while I was away and they demolished a lot of the plants and the water sprayer didn't cover all the plants really, if I'm honest, and didn't keep them hydrated. And Bert was fine, but the plants didn't do too well out of it. So there's some stuff I'm going to be doing uh, to make that look a little bit better. So I've just been and got picked up some plants and I've done my local reptile shop. So I bought a couple of Broms, which are going to go into Castro's tank. And I've got a Pothos plant as well uh, for Bert's tank. So I'm going to prepare them now and get them in. So 
So you probably just see me remove some of the earth because these bromeliads don't need to sit in any earth because they're epiphyte plants. So I'm going to try and do is add them into some of the um, hardscape elements and find them some gaps where perhaps we're lacking. I can see down the sides a little bit lacking as well. So we'll go ahead and put these in. And on this next one, you can see there has got a little pup, which is basically a baby bromeliad. So I'm just going to try and add this one down in here to fill this empty space. Like so. Make sure the leaves are all fanned out nicely. I think that's going to do okay there. Like so. So the only problem I got now is that's probably going to jam in the door. So I'm just going to place it behind this vine here, which hopefully won't affect the plant. I can get it in. There we go. So if you did see my last video when I added this fake vine into Castro's tank, you will notice that they are great because they're filled with wire that I should just be able to wedge it into that, like so. Let's alter that one back. Like that. And it was like, it was designed for bromeliads. So hopefully that'll keep its placement there and eventually the roots will attach themselves as well. And there we go. So that's the job done. I think the bromeliads have filled out some space, added a bit of color. And there's a couple other jobs I want to get done on this tank as well. I want to add some leaf litter in the bottom because the moss didn't really work out. Um, and I think the leaves breaking down into the soil will help the nitrogen cycle within this enclosure. And talking of that, I'm going to add some wood lice as well, or some isopods if you're American, um, just to top up. Because it's really important if you do have bioactive enclosures like this, then adding them in in the beginning is probably not enough. You do need to make sure you're constantly adding more in, maybe every couple of months. I try and add some more springtails and isopods into here. Okay, so next job on the list is to prepare my feeders for tomorrow. So I've just got some containers which I'm going to put them in. And what we'll do is just add the feeders I need for tomorrow. And then we'll get load them ready with some fresh fruit and veg, which I've just got some kale and some carrot. So first job is for food. Okay, so now we've got those in there. I've then got some crickets, some small crickets then for the baby fire bellies. So we'll add those into one of these containers. And then last but not least, I've got some fruit beetle grubs then for Castro. So I'm just gonna add a couple of those in. Again, to a similar tub. These are just old mealworm meal tubs. Beautiful. Three of those should be enough. Now, all I'm going to do now is just add some food in there. So I'll add a little bit of kale. So not, there's only three of those in there. And I'll also add a bit of carrot. Put the lid on. 
Then again, the same for the Crooked. So I'll probably put a bit more Kale in there than Carrot, just because it's not as damp. And they should get through that a lot quicker. So it's done. And then Magic, give it the tap. Put it all on the lid. And then we'll add some food in here for these guys as well. Add some carrot. Add some kale. I'll no, put another stick of carrot in there for. So that's more than enough. But obviously the importance of gap loading, the nutrition they take in now with this food will then be passed on to my animals, which keeping these healthy is probably just as important is keeping your animals healthy so those will stay there now for 24 hours and i'll feed those tomorrow because the animals have already been fed today So the Fire Belly Toad Paladarium is looking a lot better. I've managed to patch a lot of things up and we've covered the waterfall. Now there are some little bits that I've missed I will go over, but I'm not going to put that in the video. I think you've seen enough of me adding silicon and eco earth onto this enclosure. But the only things left to do now, I do need to try and make sure the lid looks a little bit more seamless and I do need to put some holes in it as well to feed the hose for the filter in it as well. As well as just tidy it up a little bit. I've got some silicon on the glass and that sort of thing. But in the next video you'll see on this enclosure, I will be planting it, filling it with water, substrate, and pretty much finishing it off and adding the fire bellies. So if you want to make sure you don't miss out on that, then make sure you are subscribed. Hope you've enjoyed today's video it's probably something a little bit different to what we normally do so if you do like this sort of content then make sure you give me that thumbs up so i know to make more videos like these but we've covered off quite a lot of things i want to catch up on and some of the things you don't normally get to see um, that i don't include in the videos but there's lots goes on behind the scenes so if you do like this content let me know and i'm happy to make some more but we've got plenty of build content coming up at the moment we need to finish off the five belly toes paladarium you probably may have seen the we made a start on the ball python bioactive enclosure as well and i've also got a gecko setup i need to get set up in the next couple of weeks as well so if you don't want to miss out on any of that more tips and tricks on keeping bioactive enclosures then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as well and as always if you want to show any more support and help fund this channel then go and check out my merch and my reptile fish keeping um, t-shirts designs and all that money goes straight back into this channel to help make more videos like these but i think that's enough of me waffling on for one video and i'll catch you in the next